Now let's look on how to declare an array. First thing you're going to have is your array name followed by the word array square brackets your starting value dot dot which means two ending value of data type semicolon. All right, so let's look on the fundamentals of an array using easy Pascal. So as you know, the first thing you're going to have is basically the word program, followed by your program name, and my program name is array, practice. Then now I'm going to have semicolon. I'm going to have var, and let us declare um, some arrays. All right, so let's take into consideration now character. So let's say I want somebody to enter their sex, which is male or female, but I don't want them to write out the word male or female. So I want them to enter M, M for male and F for female. So we're going to declare that as character. So how you would do that now? You're going to have your array name, which is sex or S, colon, the word array, followed by your opening square bracket, and I want to do this for three persons. So my starting value would be one, or it could be zero, dot, dot, and then three, closing square bracket. If I started with zero, then I would have zero to two instead of three. Then our data type, which is of char, semicolon. Let's say now I want to accept age, age, colon, same concept, array, and I want to accept it for three persons. So then now it would be zero. As an example, zero dot dot two. So it's still three persons that I'm accepting. So it's zero, then one, then two, three persons. And then this would be off integer. Good. Now let's say we wanted to accept the name of a person. So that's name, colon, array, opening square bracket then now I'm going to have one two three closing square bracket of string remember that we said that string strings are words characters are letters all right let's take in now that we want grades for these persons and grades can come with decimal points so now we're going to declare this as a real so we're going to have g r colon the word array then our opening square bracket one dot dot three closing square bracket of real and that would take into consideration now your declarations this is the early morning my voice is going to sound like a frog <laughs> apologize for that all right so let's move to the beginning part of our body you know we must have the word begin Enter. all right so let's say now for the information that we would have declared or for the variables that we declared we wanted to assign values to it now your array is like a storage container it's like your chest of drawers that you use to store your clothes in um the information that you enter in there must be of the same data type so you're going to have one draw, which is for your shirts. So we're going to consider that that would be of the same data type, shirts. One draw for your pants, one draw for your underwear, one draw for your skirts, right? So here now, um, each, each draw would have a specific location. So the one at the top would be number one, the one following would be number two, and the next one would be number three. So if you're folding your shirts, you would say, all right then, close, one equal shirt right so that's what we're going to do so here now you would have six square bracket square bracket location number one colon equal to male let's say now we want to assign the next to female so it would be six colon two six square bracket two then equal female right um for age now it would be age 
square bracket 0, colon equal mm, 15. I'm going to put the semicolons at the end of this. Okay. Age again. Let's say the last one, which is number 2. Square bracket 2, colon equal uh, 18. Okay. Alright, so let's assign some grades then. I want the user to enter a grade. I want them to enter name and I want them to enter grade. Now, once it is that you have an array, you need a loop, which is basically going to enter the data in the different places or control your array. Um, preferably a for loop, because you know that your for loop is a bounded iteration, which means that we know how many times the program should loop. And here now, when you declare your array, you know how many data it is that you're accepting into your array. So you, it's best for you to use a for loop. So I would have, I'd have to declare now a counter or a control variable, C. I'm going to declare this as integer. Set the value for your control variable. I have C colon equal 1. Alright, so you'd have now for C equals 1, 2. Same thing as what you would have here. So that's 3, 2. And because we're going to add some multiple things after the do now, we must have the word begin again. And this begin is for your for loop. So here now you're going to have um, right line, enter, name. Enter, hmm, enter, name. Then you have your read line, open brackets, and my variable name was name right here, so we're going to add that back here so it would be name. And right beside each variable you must have your control variable, my counter, so I'm going to put here C, closing square bracket, close bracket, semicolon. So what this is going to do now, when counter is at 1, the name that is entered would go to location 1 in your array. As the program loops and then counter becomes 2, it switches over to the second location. So that is why you need your control variable beside your array name. Very important. Let's do that again now for grade. <coughs> so right line, open bracket, open quotation, enter grade. Close. Then we said that you should have read line, open bracket. So my variable name was what? Let's check. GR. Then now, what should we have? Your control variable. So that's now your square bracket C, closing bracket, semicolon. So that part is going to come up with an end and semicolon. That end and semicolon now is for your for loop. Not for the program, but for the loop itself. So we have assigned sex, we have assigned age, we have assigned, um, <coughs> we have asked the user to enter the name of three persons and the grade of three persons. Um, let's go now and assign, let's see, a new variable by the name of average. So that's AVG. And we're going to declare this as real because we don't know what the user may enter. And then once it is that you're dividing, you can get a decimal. So therefore, let's do it like that. So here now, I'm going to have AVG colon equal. So we're going to add now the values in your array. So GR colon 1. G square bracket, sorry. So we're adding plus GR square bracket 2. Plus GR. So that's grade number 3. And now I don't know want to divide. Alright. Semicolon. So here now. 
just like if you want the user to enter the data you need a for loop once it is that you're outputting the data also you need a for loop all right so if i want to output the three names entered and the three grades i'd have to have an next for loop so it would be for i can use a while for c equal one two three do same and then we're going to have right line and then you're going to have name comma grade semicolon so we need to tell the system what we want to do and this one would be end semicolon and your regular output for your average so right line average is AVG. and then you're going to have your end and full stop all right so let's check for errors all right so i didn't have my ending square bracket here good so this now should be in quotation. Compare. So once it is that you're assigning text, that should be in quotation there. Alright, I left out my colon here. Expression expected. Okay. I keep forgetting that it's single quote that um Pascal uses. Check now, compile. Mm, okay. Alright, so here now I have invalid parameter. That's because I did not put the control variable beside each. So that's C. That's my control variable. Let's try again. Oh, this is not great. This is GI. See, compilers are wonderful. So compile successfully. Let's try. Run those. Enter name because we assigned the other values. It's not going to give us anything. So let's say I have John. Enter John Grace. John is a bright boy. 90. Let's enter Samantha. Samantha is also a bright girl. And then let's enter me, Shelly. I'm average. Let's put me to 65. Alright. So here now we output. John grade, Samantha's grade, Shelly's grade, and then the average. Let's fix this now. I'm not sure if you remember how to. So we're going to go beside each, and we're going to put colon, zero, colon, two. So zero spaces, two decimal places. Let's do that. So colon, zero, colon, two. Colon, zero, colon, two. Compare. Oh, sorry. You can't put this one here. This is for name. <laughs> Silly. Alright. Alright, so enter name. So I had John. John had 90. Then I had Samantha. Samantha had a 85. And then I had me with a 65, I think. Voila. Look at that. See? A is not as hard as we think it is. Um, let's try it. Try it in your compiler. If you can get it in your compiler, you can write it on the exam paper. Alright, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.